Hello, my name is Adam, and today I'm going to show you how to install World to Read Bar Shields. So even if you had a rebuilt amplifier or a brand new amplifier, you could still have a pretty nasty hum, and that's because the early 200s didn't have the additional rebar shielding um, that is under the actual hum shield here and under the dampers, which we'll, we'll show you. Um, so adding these rebar shields can pretty much make the thing dead quiet. It's great. So we've already removed the lid and we've um, taken off the amp rail, so it's easier to get to everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the hum shield. So we, all we have to do is just loosen these screws here and just lift it up. What's that? First thing we're going to do is remove some of these um, whip assembly from the damper arms. And then we're going to remove this screw here that connects the whole damper assembly to the sustained pull mechanism. And make sure you keep your felt washer and the little metal washer and screw together. Okay. Next, there's this ground screw here. Use a magnet to hold the nut on the other side. Don't lose anything. Now we can remove all of these whips. Okay. Okay, now we can remove the hinges on the sides. Next, we're going to separate the two damper arms. Okay, we're going to do one section at a time. We're going to start with the base section. Um, so we're going to remove these screws and we're going to leave this one here. Um, so. You want to make sure to not pull out the, the nylon bushing when you're pulling the screw out. Sometimes the washer likes to stick to it. Leave that screw. Okay. All right. So here's our reed bar shield. So you'll notice that of the holes, there's three that are smaller holes. These holes you don't need to use the, the big washer, you can just use the screw. So um, it's just gonna go just like that. And we start by putting one on each end. And one thing you wanna be cautious of, you wanna make sure you line it up so that when the, the reed swings up, especially these base ones here, they're not gonna hit the shield. If it was over enough, it could hit it and right there it would buzz against the shield. And, be annoying so you want to kind of position it to where you want it and you can tighten it up there so it stays in place third one that doesn't need the washer Snug them up. now the remaining holes we're going to use the screw and the washer, and that's going to securely hold down the reed bar shield so that it, you don't have any after ring. Because if it was, if you just had the screw in there, leaving the hole there, this could kind of be like a reed itself and um, make an annoying after ring. Do that. Okay. So an important thing you want to wa watch for Oops. is. Make sure that you can tighten up these grounds right here. And one problem you could run into, if you look here, there's a little connector for the grounds, and sometimes that could be twisted and it could actually short against the uh, reed bar shield. So you wanna make sure it's in the middle and not touching the reed bar shield. And also, just tighten those grounds up. 
tighten the ones over here too. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the next se section here and the section here. This section you're just has two smaller holes, so I'm just gonna use two screws without the washers. Don't really have to worry about lining up too much here because these reeds aren't gonna swing enough and um, they're pretty out of the way. This next section here, you got two smaller holes and then two bigger holes. So I'm still gonna take out all the screws and um, So this section slides under that little section here. So it's gonna be under it. And start with your two screws without the washers going into the smaller holes. Now when you do this, all of these, you want, it's possible that your pickup might shift a little bit to one side or the other. And you want to try to make sure you, you want to try to avoid that, but if it does happen, you may have to go back and revoice some reeds so you don't have them shorting against the pickup. Okay. That's like a tech tip within the tech tip. Okay. Um, so right here, you want to do the same thing, tighten up these grounds while also making sure that you don't have anything touching the. Um, reed bar shield because you know, if you have ground touching the shield, it'll short out and um, you'll have no sound. And you'll be like, why is this not working? Just put these things in here. I'm going through and tightening them all the grounds. Okay. Now what we can do to ensure that we're not shorted out anywhere, well you got my multimeter here. You can go to your continuity setting. You want to make sure that you don't have continuity between the reed bar shield and the pickup. There should be no continuity. And we are good. And that's just a good way. You want to check that before you put everything back together, only to find that you have a short and you have to take it all apart again. It's kind of annoying. So it's good to be safe there. Um, now we're just going to reinstall everything and it should be nice and hump-free. I'm going to start with the side that has the pin on it. Slide that in. Slide this side in. Push them together. Okay. Now you can reinstall your brackets. Make sure you put the grounds back. I like to use a magnet to hold the nut. I kind of put the screw like this. Okay. This, the felt washer goes on between the pull mechanism and the frame here. And then you got the, oops, got the spring washer and the nut, uh, bolt rather, screw. Okay. 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 You kind of want to here. Lift this up. Okay. Get that started. Put back the whips. So, if you want a super quiet 200, that's your course of action. That's a good tip. 
Hey, I'm Alex, the Digital Media Specialist here at Vintage Vibe. You can click here to subscribe, you can click here to check out an article on our website, or you can click here to watch another video. Huh? <gasps>